The purpose of this conference is to announce the preparations that have been made for uh, the burial of uh, Honorable uh, Kenneth Okoth, who is the member of parliament for Kibra constituency. After the deliberations among the family members, jointly with uh, the committee that was put together by the party, uh, including members of parliament, it has been agreed as follows. One is that today there's going to be a service at uh, Stare Boys Centre uh, in memory of the late uh, Kenneth Okoth. And that um, because we also are having another funeral, you know, that of the Bomet governor, the late lady Joyce Laboso. So the committee has been very careful not to have conflicts. Um, tomorrow there's going to be a service at All Saints for the religious Laboso. But there's going to be a, a funeral service for Ken Court at um, the Moy Girls High School, um, uh, Woodley or Kibra, which will start at 11 a.m. After that, um, there will be a viewing of the body at the same venue. The body will be uh, transported to uh, Kabondo constituency, Kabondo Kasipul constituency, on Saturday. And there will be a service on that Saturday at, uh, how do you call this? Okay. At God, God Rating Secondary School on that day, starting at 10 a.m. Um, we want people to keep time, and um, thereafter, the, the body will be uh, disposed of uh, after the, the, the funeral service on, on Saturday. So uh, we want to. Uh, appeal to our members to remain calm in this very uh, difficult period of mourning. Um, the family uh, is uh, been very strong and we continue to pray for the family at uh, this very difficult time uh, when they've lost the, uh, their loved one. Members uh, of parliament who are Ken's uh, colleague have uh, also worked very hard in support of the family. Uh, also the people of Kibra constituency, who Ken was representing in, in parliament, are in mourning now, together with uh, the rest of Kenyans. We want um, to give Ken a decent cent of that he richly deserves. Um, plus as uh, the party, the ODM, and the people of Kibra, the people of Nairobi, and Kenyans at large.